Hi guys, we're uh, heading fishing tomorrow for some lake trout and I had this idea maybe it's gonna help other people in my situation uh, I uh, try to wrap my head around what I can use for bait um, in this lake I mean what kind of bait I can simulate with my lure more exactly so <clears throat> I came uh, with a solution uh, which is uh, simulating juvenile lake trout now, good luck finding juvenile lake trout um, lures. Um, you gotta make your own. So I'm just gonna make a quick video of uh, how I make my own. I've had success with this in the past. I'm fishing a mountain lake, a uh, deep mountain lake. Uh, I usually fish on structure with rocky bottom. So for that purpose, I prefer to use a metal lure that's gonna hit the bottom and create that cling sound um and attract the fish so for me personally plastic lures are not gonna work in this situation um this is what i'm gonna start with i just picked up a 14 gram sinking uh, golden shiner by uh, Sibyl. it's the vibrato series uh, right there So I'm going to start working on this. Um, it's pretty easy to find the picture, if you Google it, of how juvenile lake trout um, look like. They are slightly yellow with um, clusters of black dots. And those clusters are uh, distributed um, almost like a perch pattern. And that is why some guys have lots of... Um, success with uh, with perch uh, simulating lures on uh, on lake trout um, <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna start with right here it's got a nice fluorescent um, finish which would help with those uh, deeper presentations where there's not a lot of light um, <clears throat> So we're going to start with this uh, and we're going to use a permanent black marker to uh, bring it to look more like a um, lake trout. Another thing I'm going to do with this lure as it comes from the store, you don't have to do that for me, um, it's pretty important. I'm going to replace this, these treble hooks. They are not very sharp, these factory treble hooks. I'm going to replace them with these um, ones I bought at Bass Pro, they're VMC round bend treble, <coughs> treble um, size 8, so roughly about the same size, but they're going to be uh, dark, not so shiny in the water, so more inconspicuous and also uh, a lot sharper. So as I was saying, I uh, removed the treble hooks, uh, safer to work that way. Again, we're starting with the 14 gram vibrato um, from Seville. Uh, pretty cool pattern to start with, but uh, we're gonna take it a bit further. So looking at the juvenile uh, trout picture, you can tell um, they have a darker ring around the eyes. They also have some uh, black clusters uh, on their uh, gill plates uh, and throughout on the entire body. So we're going to use the marker to uh, simulate that as well as we can. So I'm trying to do this while I'm looking at the camera too, so uh, it's going to be a bit tough. All right, so. There's the black ring around the eye. Right there. We're gonna do one on this side. There's that. Now we're gonna 
do a couple of black clusters on the gill plate. on the other side do the exact same thing over there so cluster of black dots and another one here all right and now for the body I'm gonna try to uh, create these uh, oval black dot patterns on the body so that would be something like this. That would be one of them. Then another one up here. I could probably do a bit better with this, but again, I'm staring at it through the camera. I'm doing my best here. It's looking pretty good so far. And as we advance towards the tail, the clusters are going to be smaller, obviously. So that's how one side would look like. Then we're going to switch to the other side and replicate the exact same design. Try to hit um, the lure with the very tip of your uh, marker. Try to get those dots as small as possible. Obviously, that's not how it's working out for me here again. I'm staring at this. I have it right in front of the phone, so I have to look at the phone doing it. It's a bit tough. So there you have it, guys. Quick and easy how to uh, pimp out your lure uh, to make it more attractive for a lake trout. They are cannibalistic, they eat their young. So uh, I'm gonna play a bit more with this actually after I'm done filming to bring it to um, where I want it. It's not there yet, but again, holding it in front of the camera, it's making it hard for me to work with it. And uh, obviously, in my case, replace um, the treble hooks with something that's darker for better concealment and obviously sharper for, for a better hook set. So there you have it guys, now you have a lure that uh, is going to perform uh, way better in lakes where there's not a lot of uh, bait fish swimming around guaranteed the lake trout is going to be tuned in eating their own uh, juveniles uh, this is how i got it to look like again starting with the golden shiner just replicate those uh, oval black dot clusters they didn't turn out very well for me like again i was looking at it through my camera but uh, you get the idea uh, the reason why I had to make this one is because I had uh, a couple more made and uh, one of them got taken by a huge trout. It just ripped my line. I didn't even get to see it. The other one, uh, I actually managed to pull it out. That was a 50 uh, centimeter trout. Um, not huge by uh, any means uh, when you're thinking of uh, lake trout. But again, this lake uh, is not known for... Uh, 
huge lake trout and usually they're uh, about foot and a half long there you know so very productive lure uh, again i will use it to fish uh, the bottom hit it on the bottom uh, create a lot of clinking noises on that rocky bottom um, i will be fishing it tomorrow you guys are gonna get to come along with me and uh, see exactly how that turns out very successful lure for me in the past and i'm confident uh, it's gonna work out uh, again thanks for watching my short video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys uh, tomorrow on the lake